بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. Good afternoon, everybody. How are you today? Uh, last Thursday, we started a very important lesson, and it was about the relative pronouns. We started some uh, some new words. Who can tell me the new words you started last Thursday in lesson four? What are the words did you study in lesson four? Hamad Majdi. Uh, bring about. Yes, bring about. This is what we are going to study today. Huh. Yes, what else? Uh, disappoint, uh, disappointing. Disappointing. Yes. What else? Muhammad Assama. Right. Thank you, Muhammad. Uh, demonstrate. Have. Demonstrate. Yes. Have. Thank potential. you. Potential. Yes. Karim. Thank you, Muhammad. Telecommunication. Uh, Telecommunication is what we are going to study today. Huh? Potential. Uh, yes. Uh, victory. Victory. Very good. Mohammed Maher. Deterrent. Deterrent. Good. Mohammed Mahmoud. Prominent. Prominent. Good. Abdurrahman Mustafa. Resident. Resident. Very good. And the last one, Ziad. Zealous. Zealous. Before the last, yes. Uh, what is the last word? Who can tell me? Yes, Karim. Uh, re uh, reveal. Reveal. Very good. So these are the words we studied last Thursday. You should understand them, uh, learn their meaning, so that we can do some exercises later. Okay. Let's complete. Let's complete some words in lesson five. So in lesson five, we are going to learn new words and we are going to learn how to make new words uh, using the prefix tilly. We are going to learn how to make a compound noun and we are going to uh, join, join since using the relative pronoun. You studied last Thursday, who, whom, whose, which, where, when, why, that, etc. Okay. Let's learn the new vocabulary. Please be attention to me. The first one. Bring about. Bring about. Bring about is a phrasal verb. A verb plus the preposition about. Bring about. Bring about means to cause something to happen. To cause something to happen. Bring about. The past symbol, bring about, brought about. Past participle, brought about. Bring, brought, brought, like buy, boat, boat. Bring about. Example, problems bring about unhappiness. Problems cause unhappiness. So bring about means to cause something to happen. Telecommunication. Telecommunication. It's a communication over a distance by cable, by telegraph, by telephone or broadcast. Telecommunication is uh, the word communication, and it is joined with the prefix tele. Tele means uh, far, far away, over a distance. Telecommunication means communication over a distance by using what? By using a cable, by using a telegraph, by using a telephone, by using a broadcasting lines, radio or television. Telecommunication. Advances in communication will reduce the need of traveling. So instead of traveling to other countries to call your friend or to meet your friend, you can use uh, other means of telecommunication like mobile phone, the internet, TV, or radio. Teleprinter, teleprinter. So it's a printer over a distance. It's a device for transmitting and receiving telegraph messages. Have you seen the cashier in the supermarket? The cashier is using a teleprinter. It's a, a small device next to the computer, which, uh, which what? Which uh, send and print uh, uh, the receipt, you, uh, the receipt after paying uh, your bill. So teleprinter, taba, which sends and receive, send and receive what? Telegraph messages or along, uh, along a device called teleprinter. So teleprinter is like a fax, but it's a, but a small one. So a device for transmitting and receiving telegraph messages. 
Teleprinters are still used in retail applications where receipts are necessary. So uh, if you are going to shopping in the supermarket or uh, in uh, any shop, uh, after paying, uh, paying some money, you get a receipt. You get a receipt from the teleprinter. Teleprinter. So we started bring about telecommunication and teleprinter. And these words we started last Thursday. Let's read them. I'm going to ask you about uh, the, their meanings or their definitions. Tension. Tension. Who can give me a synonym for tension? What does tension mean in English? Karim. Uh, uh, make me feeling uh, some. Yes. Uh... yes. Word. So tension means worry, worry, upset. Yes, tension means worry. Okay. Next, use Atiyah, zealous. Describing the fans of the football match, how are they feeling? They are very excited. So zealous means Yusuf? Excited. Excited or enthusiastic. After scoring, uh, after scoring a goal, how how do the uh, the uh, Ahli fans feel? They feel zealous. They feel very happy uh, after winning the match. Okay, victory. Uh, yes, Yusuf Sayed. What does it mean victory? A uh, victory is uh, uh, the defining is the defeating the rival or. Uh... Very or good. Winning yeah. on a competition. Beating the, your uh, unrival or your enemy. Victory means winning or overcoming uh, an enemy or uh, an obstacle. Okay. Resident. What does it mean, resident? Ziad. Uh, a person who lives somewhere permanently Very or good. on a long term. And yes, for a long time. Resident. We are residents. We are residents in Kuwait. Okay, very good. Reveal, reveals. Ahmed Haydar. Uh, to make a uh, uh, secret information known to others. Yes, very good. To to tell a, to tell what to tell a secret or to uh, to discover or find out some something, some uh, to uh, to reveal. So f find out or discover. Brought about. This is what we started today, Mohammed Ahmed. Uh, to cause something to happen. Yes, this is the past for bring about. Thank you, Muhammad. Now, you've got two minutes. Read these uh, sentences. Complete them with words from the list. Muhammad Maher. Uh, the recent economic uh, dispersion uh, has uh, reveals uh, too many problems. Uh, tension to many problems. Has tension many problems? Do you think? Has here is a helping verb or auxiliary verb, and it must be followed with the past participle of the verb. Jubran. Uh, brought about it. Brought about. Brought about. about. Thank you. Thank you, Mohammed Mahal. Again, Jubran. Number one. Uh, uh, the recent economic depression has uh, brought about many problems. Yes. So the recent economic depression has brought about many problems. It has caused many problems. OK, thank you, Mohammed Mahal. Thank you, Jubran. OK, let's see. Let's see. Mohammed Osama. Uh, the report that the uh, co company made a loss of uh, 10 uh, million uh, re reveals. Reveals the, uh, the verb. Very good, Muhammad. So the report says, the report reveals or tells us, the report uh, finds out or discovers that the company made a loss of 10 million. Good, thank you. Uh, Omar Ben Hawi. Uh, the, uh, the trainer was confident of the victory of, uh, of his team in the final match. 
Very good. The trainer or the coach was confident of the victory. Very good. Victory means winning. Here, uh, the tra uh, ahli trainer or coach was very sure that his team will win the final match. Okay, let's see Abdullah Khalil. Both the students uh, feel a lot of pressure and uh, tension, uh, tension before uh, the exam. Yes, most students feel a lot of pressure and tension before the exam. Don't worry, the exam will be easy, inshallah. Okay, thank you. Let's see, Ahmed Haydar. Uh, all the fans have been at the stadium since 2 a.m. Zealous. Zealous, very good. Zealous means, what does it mean, Ahmed? Uh, zealous having or uh, showing passion or uh, enthusiastic. Yes, showing passion or uh, enthusiastic, we can say excited. So all the zealous fans, they were very excited. Okay. Now we are going to uh, now to uh, do many exercises concerning the relative pronouns used. We started last Thursday. You remember them? Who, who, which, whose, when, where, etc. That. كان أصعب واحدة أصعب طريقة شباب لي هي how to join words how to join sentences using what relative pronoun عشان كده هركز على القاعدة دي هركز على التمرين ده لأن في ناس بيغلطوا بيغلطوا وضع الضمير أو relative pronoun في مكان غير صحيح here when when you are asked to join two sentences here you have to know the pronoun what does it refer to does it refer to I or the subject or the object and we have to use the relative pronoun. The relative pronoun should be followed with the relative clause. Let me go back to relative clause. The second sentence, the second sentence after it. And we have to use the relative pronoun. The relative pronoun should be followed with the relative clause. I bought a new house. It is in Salmiya. So it here refers to the house. It is an object. It's a thing. So we say which. I delete the pronoun it. I bought a new house, which is in Salmiya. So I delete which uh, I delete it. And we can write uh, with another pronoun. We can answer it we, with that, but it's not uh, it's not asked here. So I bought a new house that is in Salmiya or which is in Salmiya. This is the first one. Okay. Who can answer second sentence? This is a new car. I bought it last week. First, yes, sir. Uh, this is the new car which I bought last week. Very good, Faris. Faris, in the shop, has a kilmit it. Has a kilmit it. Thank you. Let's see. Ziad uh, Hatim. The girl is in my class. She broke the window. The girl is in my class. She broke the window. Uh, the girl who broke the window is in my class. Yes, very good. Excellent. I'm Aziad. خد بالك في خطأ كبير زميلكم غلطوا في في صول تانية. في واحد قال لي the girl is in my class who broke the window. غلط. هنا كلمة who refers to the girl. It's a person or people. So who must be filled with the second sentence. The girl who broke the window is in my class. So I deleted the pronoun, the subject pronoun, she. Thank you, Ziad. Number four, Abdurrahman Mustafa. This man saw the thieves, they robbed the bank. The same sentence uh, you had it last Thursday. Join using who? This man, this man uh, who saw the thieves, they uh, robbed uh, the bank. Yeah, Captain Abdurrahman Mustafa. انتبه معي حبيبي هنا الهدف من ربط يا عبد الرحمن ايه الهدف من ربط يا حبيبي حذف تكرار هنا زي زي عبد الرحمن refers to the, this man or to the thieves زي عبد الرحمن thieves the, the thieves so you should have the noun uh, before the man. this man okay the this man uh, saw the thieves who robbed the bank. Robbed the bank. Who robbed the bank? Thank you. What's up, Rahman? 
زي ما انا قلت انه دلوقتي يبقى انا عندك زي اعرف هي زي مشتري الايه؟ ذا سيفز لازم اشيل كلمه زي واحط مكانها هو بس لازم يكون الاسم اللي مشار اليه قبلها مباشره. اوكي؟ نمبر 5 وي هاف تو انسرز نمبر 5 يو هاف تو انسرز مستر خالد از اور هيد ماستر هيز سان از ا دكتور هيز هير ريفيرس تو مستر خالد السلام عليكم استاذ وعليكم السلام ناصر توني ادش كنت في المستشفى آه، اوكي نيفر مايند يا سر ناصر اي هاف سين يو اوكي اتس اوكي اوكي ناو جوين يوزنج هوز جوين يوزنج هوز ليتس سي هو كان انسر اقول انا استاذ محمد مجدي يس محمد مجدي مستر خالد از اور هيد ماستر هوز سان از ا دكتور Yes, very good, Muhammad. So this is the first answer. We can say, Mr. Khalid is so, our headmaster. So it's fake, but Whose son is it? Yes, Yusuf. Yes, Yusuf Atiyah. Is it our son? Yusuf? Yes, I don't know it, teacher. Yusuf Atiyah, yes. Refers to Faris. Faris. Oh, okay, one minute, Faris. One minute, Faris. Can you, can you answer it, Yusuf? No, I don't know the second okay. Uh, answer. Okay, second answer. First, yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Khalid, uh, whose son is a doctor, is our headmaster. Very good. Mr. Khalid, whose son is a doctor, is our headmaster. Tabuna Muktulina, Mr. Khalid is our headmaster, whose son is a doctor. Lenina, the headmaster, who is Mr. Khalid, who is the Shaks. So we can say, Mr. Khalid, whose son is a doctor. Is our headmaster, or we can say Mr. Khalid is our headmaster whose son is written. So his here is possessive adjective. We relate it using and we write it, uh, we write uh, whose instead of his for position. Okay, let's see more examples and show the people who are not going to be able to do it. Okay, yes, Muhammad Muhi, yes, Muhammad Muhi, yes, number one. Join using who? This is a pilot. He traveled solo around the world. Yusuf Muhammad Muhi. One minute. One minute, Muhammad. Yusuf Muhammad Muhi. Nasr Yusuf. Hi, teacher. Yes. Join using uh, Google. This is Violet. Uh, he traveled uh, solo around the world. Tsir. Ustad, we put it in the point, Say the answer, please. Uh, this is the pilot. Oh, like it's her. What teacher? Thank you, Nasser. Maaz Muhammad Mansour. This is the pilot uh, who traveled slow around the world. Solo. Yes. Solo. Thank you so much. Hena Nasser, مش مجرد نحط هو في الوصل خلاص. لا لازم نحذف فيها Nasser. نحذف he. لازم نحذف فيها Nasser. He. He refers to the pilot. This is the pilot who traveled solo around the world. Okay, thank you. Yusuf Mahmoud Shahata. Uh, join using yes, who's. This test is for students. Their language is not English. Their hair possessive, possessive adjective. Uh, this test is for students whose language is not English. Excellent. Thank you, Yusuf. Okay, Maaz Ahmed. The student lost his bag. He's waiting in the office. Join using who? معاذ أحمد العاني أيوة أستاذ يس معاذ ذا ستودنت لوست هيز هاك هي إز والتن إن ذا إن ذا أوبس محمد مصطفى عبد الغفار 
ثلاثة أربعة أستاذ نمبر فور بليز Uh, the students lost this bag. Who is wait, uh, who is waiting uh, in the office? Muhammad Mustafa. Does the pronoun he refers to the bag? He does he mean bag? The yes. How can you join it? The, uh, the, the student lost his. his The student lost his bag. Uh, who we think is in Thank the you. office? Thank you. No, Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali Rabia. Uh, the student lost uh, lost his bag. أنا بقولها بالعربي يا شباب مرة تانية. أنا لما أقول لك أربط الجملة بهو ولا وش ولا كذا بشوف هي هنا. من هو هي؟ هي عايدة على student. يبقى هنا أشيل هي وحط مكانه هو. بس التغيير هيكون إزاي؟ Abda is a student. Who the second sentence and then the first sentence. Yes, Muhammad Ali. Uh, who is waiting in the office? Uh... Say it again, please. Teacher, can I answer it? The, the student who Wait. who was Wait, waiting yes. waiting in the office? Yes. Complete. Uh, What the happened? student, the student who was uh, waiting in the office lost his bag. Yes, very good, Muhammad. What's your Muhammad? Ben, مرة تانية. يبقى هنا لما تلاقي لما تلاقي الضمير لما تلاقي الضمير مشار إليه بيشير على اسم في أول الجملة الأولى أجيب الاسم أداة الربط هو أو وش أو كذا بعد كل الجملة الثانية وأرجع أجيب الجملة الأولى. ما ينفعش يا محمد ويا معاذ أقول his bag who ما ينفعش اقول باج هو لان باج هنا از از ا ثينج اور اور نوت ا بيرسون سو ذا ستودنت هو از ويتنج ان ذا اوفيس لوست هيز باج اوكي نمبر 5 محمد عصام محمد عصام لوك ات ذا هورسز زي ار درينكينج ان ذا ريفر لوك ات ذات هورسز درينكينج ان ذا ريفر انت حطيت كده ذات هنا اما تحطها قبل هورسز يبقى كده جبت حاجه ثانيه جبت دمار اشاره دمار اشاره ذيس وذات وذيس وذوس ذات هنا يا بابا لما تبقى ضمير اشاره يشير للمفرد مش للجمع هنا ذات معناها الذي او التي يبقى لوك ات ذا هورسز اشيل ذي واحط ذات لان هنا ذي ريفيرس تو ذا هورس مباشره لوك ات لوك ات ذا هورسز ذات ار درينكينج ان ذا ريفر ايوه ما ينفعش اقول لوك ات ذات هورسز كده ذات هنا الاسماء الاسماء الاشاره ذيس وذات وذيس وذوس اللي ماتشور لشيء قريب او بعيد وكمان ذات المفرد اوكي؟ ذات اه ثانك يو عمر محمود وان مينت وان مينت ها عمر محمود يا ايديسون از ا ساينتست هي انفنتد ايديسون از ا ساينتست هي انفنتد الكتريستي ايديسون از ذا ساينتست Who invented electricity? Yeah, so I delete he, I delete he, and then I bought who. Edison is the scientist who invented the electricity. So I give you a necessary information here. I'm defining Edison. Who is Edison? Edison is the scientist who invented electricity. Who, who wants to ask a question? Milan, answer up. Answer up. Ben is ready. Ben is ready. Mohammed Ahmed. لا خلاص يا استاذ انا عرفت المعنى اوكي محمد محمد مجدي هو في امتحان يقول لي جوين يوزنج ويز ريليتيف كلوزز ولا يقول لي ويز يوزنج ممكن يقول لك جوين بس بص يا محمد ممكن يقول لك جوين يوزنج هو جوين يوزنج هو زوتش كذا او جوين بس وطبعا في مالتيبل تشويس في اختيارات يبقى هنا يقول لك جوين بس ممكن يقول لك جوين بس او يقول لك هنا جوين يوزنج هو هوز اتسترا يبقى هنا امتى استخدمها؟ استخدم الريتيف برونون لما يكون في ضمائر طبعا ما فيش علاقه بين الجملتين غير بس ان تعريف ديفاينينج ولا نون ديفاينينج زي ما احنا قلنا انا بعرف الشخص ده جمله بدي معلومه اضافيه ولا لا هو از ذا انفنتور ذا انفنتور هوز انفنشنز هوز انفنشنز بينجز اس شودنت بي فورجتن هو از ايديسون ايديسون از ذا ساينتست هو انفنتد الكتريستي اور هو انفنتد ذا لايت بلب يبقى هنا لما يكون في اسم وضمير مشار اليه حذف الضمير واحط ايه؟ هذا الترابط. 
اوكي احمد يس اسامه رائد نمبر 7 ذيس ذا ويدو ويدو معناها ارمله ذيس ذا ويدو هير هازباند دايت ان ذا باتل جوين يوزنج هوز استاذ حطها سي ذا انسر بليز سي ذا انسر بليز يس اسامه This is uh, the widow. The widow, yes. Hey, it's not easy, Sam. It's not easy at all. Here, you have hair. Here, who is here? Hair husband. Hair refers to the widow. Widow means Armala. The sister is going to die or dead. Hair refers to the widow. I delete hair and I put. I put what? I put who's. Okay, Osama, say it again. Osama Raad, yes. Okay, Osama. Amjad Taysir. No, I'm Yes, number seven, Amjad. تمام. says uh, this is uh, the, win uh, the window. Not uh, window. Who's... Widow. Widow. Not window. Widow. Uh, widow. Wid has yeah. uh, has who's? has be, uh, who's been husband. Uh, husband. Uh, uh, died. In, died. Died in. Died in the. Uh, Battle. 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 Okay, Battle. you should break reading, Amjad. Break reading, please. Okay, so we delete the pronoun her and we write whose. So the right answer, this is the widow whose husband died in the battle. Okay, next. Let's see. Hamad Saleh, the company is looking for a secretary. She can use the computer well. Join using who? Uh, yes. Hamad Saleh. Yes, teacher. Uh, the company is looking for a secretary. Uh, she can use the computer. Uh, who? We change yes. she to who? Yes. Who can, who can use the computer one? Yes. So we delete the pronoun she. Thank you, Ahmed. Okay, well, let's have more examples here. I'm Ahmed. Ziad, Fadl. Uh, who have Rahmar uh, Bad, the student lost his bag, he's waiting in the office. I, my father, the student who lost his bag is waiting in the office. My father, the student دايما بعد هو او ويتش او هوز او كذا الرد برنون لازم نجيب الجمله الثانيه اللي بتعرف الشخص لا لو انت جبت ذا ستودنت هو لوست هيز باج از ويتنج ان ذا اوفيس هو نفس المعنى بس انت بتاكد عليه جمله فيهم يبقى هنا تمام. الهدف والربط بتجيب اداه الربط وتجيب الجمله الثانيه بعدها ده اسمها ايه الريد كلوز اما ذيس ذا مين كلوز تمام اوكي لو انت كتبت الجمله الثانيه يبقى انت كتبت المعنى صح بس مش القاعده صح القاعده زي ما بتقول لنا بعد الريد برنون لازم يكون الجمله الثانيه اوكي واتش جيفز نيسيسري اور اسينشال انفورميشن ليتس هاف سمبل اكسرسايز فيري ايزي تشوز ذا كوريكت انسر تشوز ذا كوريكت ريليتيف برنون اه سهله يا شباب دي ليتس سي هو كان انسر ذيم استاذ استاذ لو سمحت اقول انا استاذ That's is the house where Hassan lives. That's the house where Hassan lives. That's the house where Hassan lives. That's the house where Hassan lives. Use which. Who can use which here? That's the house. One minute. Don't talk. Hands up. Thank you, Muhammad Musaba. Turn off your mic, please. Jubran. Uh, uh, 
uh, which Hassan lives in? Yes, we can say that's the house which Hassan lives in or in which Hassan lives. So we can use which for places, but you should have the preposition. OK, number two. Ah, let's see, Karim. Yes, Karim. Uh, I talk it to Fawaz, whose father is uh, a manager of KOC. KOC, KOC, Kuwait Oil Company. Thank you, Karim. Mohammed Mahmoud, number three. This is this is the woman uh, who this is the woman uh, uh, you, this is the woman gave me the money. Who gave me the money? Who gave me the money? Mohammed Mahmoud. We can use another one. This is the woman who gave me the money. Uh, this is the woman who gave me the money. Uh, whom, yeah. Uh, this is uh, the woman that gave uh, gave me uh, the, the money. Yes, very good. Ibn Muhammad Mahmoud in Tibet. And Kilmit that Mokut Sardamakan, who, how, which, how, 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 whom. Okay, I'm a Kilmit whom in a fashion for Gumladi and Ali. Lana Kenta, uh, Betakana, has he here more a letty out of me, Almal? A city in Altak, and in a city in a fal, subject. And the old whom, but Launta Muhammad in Latta and Blues. All this is the woman. Whom I gave the money. Oh, okay. If I the man, if I the man, if I the woman, this is the woman who gave me the money. If I sit here, I the flus. I'm going to alter this is the woman whom I gave the money and I'll alter the flus. Okay. Muhammad Sama, number four. I met the girl. Uh, you told me to help. Uh, uh, I met the girl whom. Whom? Very good. Her. Yes, whom I met the girl whom you told me to help. Ali Mugutifahu Mugutifahu Basif in informal language for Loga Gerras me, for the spoken language for Loga Le El Gerras me, Loga Derga. Yeah, seldom who in Mafool, Lahakal. Basil Loga, been seldom whom Lil Mafool, who in Fahl. Okay, I met the girl whom you told me to help. Number five, Abdurrahman Maran. Yes, uh, do, you, do you remember the day when we first met? Very good. OK, now you are going to see uh, more examples. You can uh, check them, answer them, and then uh, check them uh, after watching the video. OK, do this exercise at home. Do this exercise at home. OK, these are relative pronouns. So uh, check them after studying. Now let's open your students book on page number 59. What are you going to study today? We are going to study vocabulary. The first one, the prefix tilly. Kilmit tilly, the maqta, the proof. Some letters that come before the word. Tilly means far or from afar, over a distance. Now write the answer to these uh, questions. Work in pairs. We can add the prefix tilly to many words to come up with new terms. يعني ممكن نضيف كلمة تلي أو المقطع تلي قبل الكلمة دي عشان نكون مصطلح جديد. Add tilly to the following. You may need to change their internal structure. ممكن تحتاج تغير هذا اللي الجزء الأساسي من الكلمة. يعني visualize. خليها vision. Print. خليها printer. Communicate. خليها communication. Uh, who can make a new word? Write Tilly before these words. Number one, Yusuf Mahmoud Shahata. Visualize. Televisualizing. Uh, uh, tele uh, Televisualize. The noun. What's the noun? What can you see every day? I watch programs. Watch your programs. TV programs, tele, televisualize. No, huh? Abdurrahman Mustafa, the name of visualize is vision. Visualize. Yes, visualization, television. So, what's a television? Who can define what's a television? Muhammad Saleh. Uh, television. What's television? Define it. Television. 
What's television? A television is that screen a screen or a device on which we watch movies. Television on which we can see movies or watch programs. Yeah. Okay, good. Text. You spot here. Yes, teacher. Teletexting. Teletext. Teletext. Now, what's a teletext? Teletexts are uh, some information which uh, which appear at uh, at the end or uh, at the bottom of a TV. The national اخباري أو شركة اخباري. A teletext. A teletext. Okay. Next. Okay. Muaz Muhammad communicate. Muaz telecommunication. Yes, telecommunication. Telecommunication means communication over a distance. Okay, phone, Ahmad Haider. Telephone. Yes, telephone. Good. Brent, Faris. Brent. Teleprinter. Teleprinter. This is what we started today. Fax. Ah, uh, Yusuf Sayed. Fax. Um... Telefax. 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 So a fax over a distance. So we you, you can define these uh, these words. Can you define them? What are they? Here, teletext is written information which you can read on a TV screen. So what are these? The, uh, this is what these are bits of information or written information on a TV screen. Teletext. Another example. Uh, what's a television? The television is a great invention on which you can see uh, movies. You can you watch uh, news. OK, next uh, communication, telecommunication. What's telecommunication? Abdurrahman Mustafa, telecommunication. Make sentence of about four of these things. What's a telecommunication? Uh. Communication, communication over a distance, or for from for a uh, far away or from a far away. Using what? How can you use uh, telecommunication? We can you uh, telecommunicate by using the cable, the telegraph, uh, broadcasting lines, the radio, the television, uh, the internet. Okay, let's talk about telecommunication. Communication uh, is communication over a distance by cable, telegraph, telephone, or broadcasting. Next, we use the telephone to make calls all over the world. We need two teleprinters in our company. So what's telecommunication? It's communication over distance by cable, telegraph, telephone, or broadcasting. Look at this picture. Yes, telecommunication. So we join tele plus communication. We have the new term telecommunication, and it means communicate from afar or from a far distance to send the communication far away. Now let's learn how to make a compound noun. What's a compound noun? It's a noun plus a noun hand plus bag becomes handbag. We can we can join them together without space, or we can leave space between them, or we can use a, a dash between them, like an ice cream. I'm eating an ice cream. I'm brushing my hair with a hairbrush. I am brushing my teeth with a toothbrush. I'm sleeping in the bedroom. What are these? Bedroom, toothbrush, hairbrush. These are what? Compound nouns. Now, so we can use or we can combine these words in list A with the words from list B to make a compound noun. For example, we have color and television, so it becomes color television. We have film plus industry, film industry, news plus program, news program. Portable plus radio, portable radio, radio plus signals, radio signals, short plus distance, short distance, video plus recorder, video recorder. So what do they do now? 
I I combine two words to make a compound noun. Now, use these compound nouns. I have joined them to complete these sentences. I'll give you one minute to read and complete. محمد مجدي ذا فيلم اندستري هازنت دايت بيكوز اوف تلفزيون اور فيديو ريكوردرز فيري جود ثانك يو محمد اسامه ماركو ماركوني انفنتد ماركوني انفنتد ا سيستم فور ترانسميتنج راديو سيجنال فيري جود Radio signal, yes, signals. Okay, use Mahmoud Hata. Uh, telegraph wires were only used to send messages short distance. Very good. Hamad Ali Rabia. Uh, to find out what's happening in the world, what's a uh, good news program. Very good. Al Banhawi, last one. Uh, having a video recorder means you can record a TV program and watch it uh, later. Thanks a lot. Now let's check your answers. Are your answers right or wrong? And have a look at these pictures. First one. The film industry has not died because of television or video recorders. Second one. Mark Nee invented a system for transmitting Radio signal, we add as radio signals. Three, telegraph wires were only used to send messages short distance. Number four, to find out what's happening in the world, watch a good news program. Number five, having a video recorder means you can record a TV program and watch it later. Now, what are you going to do at home? You are going to answer a workbook on page number 50-51. Here, I'm going to check uh, these, these, these answers or these answers tomorrow. First, you are going to uh, join some prefixes with these words to make a new word. For example, we have agreement, disagreement. We have uh, working. Uh, we can say teleworking. It means uh, working at from from home or from the house. Teleworking. So join these prefixes with these nouns to complete this sentence. The second exercise: use these compound nouns to fill or to complete this sentence. We have color, television, radio signals, etc. And you are going to study the grammar assistant using relative pronouns, study the rules and the examples, and then fill in with the relative pronoun like who, which, etc. And the next one you are going to complete the next exercises. Don't forget to do it at home. I'm going to check them tomorrow. Until we meet again, thank you. Goodbye. Thank you, Mr. Chair. One minute. Goodbye.